What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here. We are in the truck and we are going to do the first tow in the new uh, tow rig here. We're going to go pick up the Jeep. Uh, heading to my buddy Todd's house right now. He's going to let me borrow his trailer and come with me. And we're going to see how this thing tows. What needs to happen to it because there's some long distance tows in this thing's future. So, well, I need airbags. How will it tow? Uh, simple stuff like that. I could have got Melody to, you know, uh, take me and drop me off and get it, but I just really wanted to see how this truck's going to tow today, so that's what we're doing, so come along. First tow in the new truck. Don't know how it's going to tow, lifted, and uh, all this other stuff, but you know, that's what we're doing, so we're going to go see Todd. He's going to let me borrow his trailer and come with me, I guess. We're gonna head up to get the Jeep, load it up, and then take it home. So, stay tuned for that. Whatever other shenanigans happen during the time, hopefully, nothing. Hopefully, it's an easy time. So, let's get it. I said shenanigans. Yeah. We got the Jeep. It's here. On the trailer. But the trailer hasn't been used in a long time and you know, blew a tire. So shenanigans, like I said, I knew this was gonna happen. <sighs> yeah, Melody was right. See him. I guess Todd's driving the Jeep to Winchester. And we're gonna drop the trailer off and makes it. Alrighty. Alright, so we unloaded it now. <laughs> this tire was the one we thought was gonna go. Well, the other side went. Oh man. Well, he was right. I should have just had her come up here and get me. Bring it to me. Or had her drive me up here and I could have just drove it back home. I didn't want to. I wanted the trailer. So now we're gonna drive this back to. Hopefully we can get it back to his dad's house in uh, Winchester, and then I'll drop this at my mom's, and uh, the audio just have to bring me up to Winchester, I guess. So, yeah. Alrighty, so this is going to be, I'm going to end up putting on some more stuff in this video. Uh, this video was only supposed to be me going to be get the jeep here but uh did not ha end up happening ended up getting a little sidetracked there um we ended up with the trailer having to whip it home on three tires uh todd ended up driving this back and dropping it off for me and then the next week uh melody took me up to get it drove it home i've already wheeled it uh this has been a couple this uh what you're seeing now is it had been a couple weeks ago so <clears throat> Ended up going a week or two after that, and I went and got a trailer. So I'm going to put that parts of that video in here with this video. So I'm just going to combine the two together. Uh, I was going to make them two separate videos, but I don't have enough clips to really make it any work, anything worthwhile. So I'm going to put that in with this video right here. So ended up going, was searching around for a new or a used trailer. I didn't want to buy a new, but all the used trailers were were like a thousand dollars off a new trailer so i just went and got a brand new trailer it's a 18 plus 2 dovetail so i will uh dovetail it's an east texas trailer i'll put it the videos in here right now so uh you know you get a two for two two videos in one so i'll put that in right now what's up everybody welcome back to the channel sam here I uh, hope you can hear me over the road noise of these loud tires, but we are on the way to get a trailer. It's making big moves. As you can see in the last videos, I've bought a truck. Now we're going to go get a trailer. So I thought you'd like to come along with me on this journey of going to get a trailer. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Buy a trailer so we can tow the Jeep 
All this has been so we can tow the Jeep. So I bought a truck, got a trailer, get, going to go get the trailer so we can tow this Jeep, do some more stuff. We got 47 miles to empty. So I probably might have to stop for fuel, but There's a truck stop up here. Might stop up here and get some fuel real quick. And get the trailer. Show you what the trailer looks like. And then I'm going to have to take it to my dad's house. He's going to let me store in there for a little bit because uh, I'm going to have to fix my back gate on the house. It's not wide enough for this trailer because the trailer is a little over nine feet wide. And the opening that I have in the gate now at the house is. Uh, nine feet exactly. So, low fuel light just came on. So, definitely gotta stop and get fuel. So, we're gonna stop here. There's a love truck stop up here. We're gonna stop and get fuel, and then we'll be on our way to the trailer. So, I'll get you back when I get some. I'm gonna stop and get this thing some fuel. We'll see actually how I've never gotten down this low before. So, we'll see how much it actually takes for top this thing off the fuel from empty to full. So. Alright, let's see what it does. Alright, it said it had 41 miles to empty and the 20 about 22 gallons. Ah, oh, man, went over. I hate that. It's almost 22 gallons of fuel. Sasha. 22 gallons of fuel. Already paid. So. All right. Okay. Crap. That's not the right key, man. Three hundred thirty one miles to empty. Oh. Yep. All right, let's go get this trailer. All right, here she is. My new East Texas trailers car hauler. It's eighty four inches wide. It's eighteen plus two. So It's uh, over a 10,000 pound trailer. So. Got all the niceties. It's gonna need a box in the front and an extra tire, but yeah. Runner tires on her. All the lights work and stuff. Got pull out uh, stuff or the ramps in the back. Got a Metal Dove, brand new tires. So now we have to take this to my dad's and try to figure out how we're gonna get it into his uh, yard because his is full of crap too. So we will see when we get there. Get to tow it on some back roads starting out and we'll see how she tows and then I'll do that. So let's get to towing. All right, we got it here. Got it here with all the other trailers and stuff. Uh, won't be able, like I said, I won't be able to take it to my house until I get it, um, get my yard fixed. But it's it's pretty bouncy. I'm sure the tires got a bunch of air in them. Ain't got no weight weight on it. So, um, but yeah, it towed pretty good. 
back roads, literally single lane back roads. So you get on the, on the interstate, it'll tow a lot better. But so I gotta find a brick or a brick right here so I can jack this trailer up and then uh, we're heading on our way. So that's the end of this video, guys. I don't know if this is gonna be a complete video or this little piece, but uh, East Texas trailers and yeah so now we're big we're big time now we got a truck we got a trailer jeep's fixed we just need to go full wheel now I, other i literally just came right off of work on the saturday to do this so hopefully i got two saturdays coming up in a row that i don't have to work so maybe we'll get out in the woods and actually do some jeeping or off-roading so but we got us a truck got us a trailer that's a nice trailer for moab and other far away adventures so gonna be it like i said thanks for watching thanks for thanks for watching and everything and uh thanks for uh you know liking subscribing uh put something down in the comments and all that other stuff so we'll see you in the next one peace all right so that's gonna be the end of this one guys appreciate you all watching uh make sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't drop a comment down below what do you think think i did good on the trailer we'll find out I haven't even got to tow anything with it. I ended up taking it to my dad's, as you've seen, dropping it off, and that's all I've done to it so far. Uh, I have to actually fix my fence here because as of right now, it will not, it technically is the exact, it is the exact width of the fence right now. So I'm gonna have to back the trailer in here and put it in this area. So for now, I left it at my dad's house and um, he's, he's, got a, he's got a lot of room, so. I'm going to have to go get it. I'm going to have to go get the Grand Cherokee because he's got that right now. Eventually, I'm going to go get that thing from him and bring it back home. So it makes sense to just leave. Left the trailer up there because I'm going to have to go get the trailer and go get that thing to bring it back. But now since we got the old F-250 here, it ain't going to be no big deal. I'll just load it up and bring it home. So I'm uh, going to have to get... Um, gonna have to get some airbags probably for it and everything but uh you can tell it's, it doesn't look the same but in a future video i'll explain that so i've already i've kind of been lacking on my videos here because i've done a lot of things and not made a lot of videos so well, i've made i made the videos i just haven't put them out there yet and this is coming from the future i guess you could say so but thanks for watching everybody and more videos to come i got a bunch of stuff in the works in the pipeline so thanks for watching like i said hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i appreciate everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next one